Hello, I'm going to do a video here on uh, this anchor cage assembly. It's pretty simple assembly. So what I've done firstly is this is how it's going to end up, right? So I'm just doing something very basic here. This is not actually a project or anything. So this is what it will look like in the end. But in order for them to make the cage, they need these bolts and all these plates to be on a drawing so they can make up the cage so what we're going to do is we're going to make that possible so what i've done is i'm going to extend the anchors so if i double click here i'm going to go in and see what type of anchor this is base plate anchor so this is a threaded anchor extended seven eight and you need to know what anchor assembly it is so it's two nut and washer sorry two nut and two washer and a nut at the bottom so there's two nuts on top uh, here and here and then there's two washers so close that and then go into your management tools or, or and you want to go to your anchors so let's close this just so you can see you want to go into your anchors and then click on the anchor scroll down I have copied this one <coughs> and made one US threaded extended so what you want to do is we want to come in here this is actually these are representing a half inch bolt and the set is nut and washer nut so any of these parameters are relevant only for bolts that are half inch and are using this uh, bolt assembly so what we want to go do is we want to go to what we just checked so we want to go to 7 8 now if you click on the other one it will be empty there's two seven eights so click on the second one and if i go to the set i want to go to two nuts and two washer and a nut so this is the you can see there's a nut in the washer and a nut in the washer so nut washer and then the plates in here and then there's a washer and then a nut and then at the bottom there's a nut and then we want to go back to the parameters and we can see that i have a top distance i've changed the top distance to four here so that's what you want to do there so that's a kind of a different video on extended anchors just wanted to show you so what we're going to do now is we're going to delete this box because we don't want this to be connected to the base plate so we're going to delete this now we need to create holes in the base plate <coughs> so let's go to objects and let's go to holes is already selected let's select the plate and we're going to pick the two outer points here which is the center of these two anchors and the hole has come in at the right so what i want is a 7 8 hole which is 14 16 plus 5 16 uh, hole tolerance which brings me to 1 and 3 16 so they are the correct hole sizes it's a little hard to see it now with that nut uh, I apologize I was supposed to do that hole afterwards so what I want to do is let's select these anchors and remove this top plate from that now you can see why I have extended the anchors and I created the holes otherwise these holes would have disappeared so let me just go back all right so we'll go back and we'll do it again we'll do it the right way so we'll select this we're going to remove the plate and now we're going to go and create the holes you can see there's no holes in this plate right now so we're going to create the holes now and it comes in with that right hot now you sometimes that will need to be a 916 tolerance it's up to whatever your project is so now it's starting to look like what i need for a drawing so you can see that i want this plate and so let's double click on these and let's see these are site i want these to be shop assembled so let's select the anchors and we can see that's a shop assembly there so this is getting to what we want now i've added these bars down here just to keep the anchor cage straight 
this could also be just another clay down here I've just created this quickly just to kind of show the process so and then we're going to weld it to these anchors so let's do a weld now let's see first this fillet weld okay and it's a shop weld okay so let's select items that are connected in the shop you can see it has just connected those four so we can't weld it to an anchor so what we can do is we'll just delete that and we'll pick these again or we can go back let's go back let's select this anchor go to objects and then add and we'll add this plate and now if we select the assembly it has selected everything now just be careful because on mine when i go to check and if you pick the anchor it doesn't show that that's connected so it doesn't show that that's part of the assembly but if you select one of the plates it does show that it's an assembly so that's going to be my assembly so what i'm going to do is let's check my other assembly is the column okay so what we'll do is we'll just select all them and we'll do home numbering okay right so we can see we have a b1 which is that post which i should have changed to a column so let's change this to a column and let's just renumber okay renumber c1 and p1 okay so we're good so now what we want to do is we want to output <coughs> the drawings so we're going to select all these we're going to go over here to assembly and we're going to put them on a c sheet okay and that is outputting those assemblies so let's click on the column show assembly detail and there's our assembly detail just need to clean it up a little bit uh, it's a little short as well so you know just drag it over here fix your labels you can extend the clipping on that there if you want so Clipping in the y direction we want to make that four inches or something like that it might be too long all right so let's say that's too long but we'll just drag it up here anyway. all right you know what let's just fix it or it'll never annoy me so let's do 2.5 three is probably enough but i don't want to chance it so there's one assembly and you can see it's got the plate with the holes that's what we want so that's what we're going to make in our phase two i guess so in our phase one we want the anchor so let's click on the plate and show assembly detail and we can see that we have an assembly but it's not quite what we want so let's move it over here <coughs> so it's showing holes it's showing plates on the bottom but it's not showing me the anchors so what we want to do is we'll create a new drawing style so let's click on this and we can see that it's using the plate five plate assembly is the drawing style let's go to objects output and we want to go to assemblies you can see here's one I've created before so let's go to five and play it so play it assembly sorry I wasn't seeing it there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy we're not going to deep copy almost made a mistake there so we're just going to copy and i'm just going to call this adm anchor assembly
anchor assembly right so then we're going to go down to the next level and we've got the top and so we're going to go here and we can change all of these which we should so we want to do we want to copy that again so we're going to go ADM so what basically what we're doing is we're creating a new I should call it a cage assembly I guess so basically what we're doing is You know what? The top one, I, it's just difficult to change, so we'll leave it as anchor. Sorry. All right. So anchor assembly. <clears throat> so let's copy the start of that. Copy. Okay. Then come down here, and then we're gonna create a new one of this, and we'll paste that in there. So that's the front. And then we'll create a new one of these. So we have to create a new one at each level. Okay, and well preparation, we're not worried about that. So let's click here. <coughs> and then we want to go to object presentation. And it's using the plate assembly. And if you click on the next one, you can see it's also using the plate assembly. And the last one is using plate assembly section. So what we'll have to do is create one of these. So we'll do the same thing. We'll put the name in here that corresponds. OK. And then we'll go to the second one, right, which is the front. And we'll change that to the one we just created. Um, ADM anchor assembly. Go to the third one, which is the section, and we want to create a new section also. It seems a little long-winded, but in the long run, then you'll have you'll have an assembly you can use, or you'll have a, a drawn style you can use for this. Um, sorry, I had uh, somebody come into the office there, uh, so. I'll just continue here so I've created this one so now basically what we need to do is we need to go in here and see what we have for anchor bolts and we don't have anything for anchor bolts that's why anchor bolts are not showing up so let's just we've got bolts on shop visible so let's click on this one and let's create a new one same as that and let's go anchor bolts and we want visible hidden and labeling we can just leave like that for now so this is in the anchor assembly apply use and it should work updating it they don't always work so now you can see that we have got our anchor in this one alone but we have our anchor and it's coming with the label so labels not perfect anchors not perfect but all things we can fix the dimensions are not great we'll have to clean those up these dimensions are fine here so now our section is what's missing so our section um, and the section is on its side so we'll address that in a minute so what we're going to do is let's go back into the drawing mm -hmm. style again and basically we want to go to the anchor assembly section and object presentation we've created a new one already we're going to go to bolts on shop and we're going to create a new one and then we're going to change this to anchors as well so now the anchors all any and visible hidden I don't know if you need visible hidden maybe just visible but it's fine for now apply use and then the anchor should appear in this other section now it's given me two sections we don't need two sections so I'll just drag this one over here we'll delete that section 
and so what you can do here now is we can see this is coming in with system lines so maybe we don't want system lines here so uh, we can also change those so those were created as plates I believe so let's see if we go back is a beam so these are beams so basically we'll go back to our sheet and we'll go back into our drawing style and it's not a main part beam so there could be attached beams which is attached plates attached beams so if we change that to visible hidden apply let's see if that works sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error but that has worked yeah so we've taken out the system lines there so basically you know you're, you're going to want to come in you'll insert a wild symbol down here uh, this looks pretty good this one we need to change also so let's go back in again and let's go back down to this section and attach beams uh, side width exact so these can be visible hidden also uh, visible hidden and I'll change this one also to visible hidden apply use So that has removed that also now you can see your cages on its side so all you need to do is just come in here and rotate it 90 degrees and that'll give you a section now obviously we don't need that section so we can just delete that section because we already have what we need here and the next time we can just use this drawing style to create so it doesn't come with this out of box as far as i know so maybe this will help somebody all right take care